Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today is another budget store find. And the game is, I know, trivia for your eyes. It says national competition winner for Mensa Select. Honored for excellence by Mensa, the high IQ society. Now this was purchased, as you can tell, used for $5.99, but they also had a 75% off sale. So I'll say I got it for a steal. Game is for ages 12 up. It's a family game. It's for two plus players and takes about 20 minutes to play. I know trivia for your eyes. Everyone can play, anyone can win. This exciting trivia game explores the world through your images. You get to pick your own question topics and show what you know. Animals, famous people, logos, buildings, landmarks, flags, the variety is endless. Will you choose a moose or the moon? Martin Luther King Jr. or King Arthur? It's up to you. Once you identify your image, you have a chance to claim the card by answering one of the three question types on the back of the card. It includes 400 image cards, 1,200 questions, two dice, and instructions. So it looks like one layout, 12 cards. Two, choose your image. Three, trivia, three ways. True or false, multiple choice are open-ended. All right, so let's crack this bad boy open and see what we have on the inside. Lots and lots. And lots and lots of cards, it seems. So it's a card-based game, and we do have a number of things that we have to figure out with this. It's going to unwrap a couple of them because a couple of them are sealed. As you know, I always like to unseal things off camera. This way I don't get myself into trouble. Okay, so let's start off. Here we go. So I didn't want to slice my hand off in front of everybody, so here we go. Open this rule book up. It's a pamphlet. Only one side. That's a beautiful thing. So, I know trivia for your eyes. Basic instructions. Object of the game. Be the first to collect five cards by identifying images and correctly answering questions about the images. Players. Equipment. 400 game cards. Two six-sided dice. Setting up. Deal out 12 cards. Image into a 3x4 grid. Got it. Playing your turn. Roll the dice. Identify an, end, uh, an image. Answer our trivia questions. I guess in the back they have the trivia questions. Winning the game. Do not return to the store. 1-800-622-8339. Customer care at spinmaster.com. Also, this game is brought to you by spinmaster.com. So if you have any questions or need any cards replaced, that's where you get it from. And there's your instructions. Now, of course, it comes with 2D6. There you go. Some fine dice for the game. And lots and lots of cards. Normally, I do not, again, this is a used game, so I obviously put a rubber band around it. I never put rubber bands on any game, uh, any cards, obviously, because you guys know that uh, can really destroy the cards. These are nice cards. These aren't, they're not bad. They're not the thickest cards in the world, but at the same time, they're very nice. Picture vibrant, nice, cool colors on them. Um, you know, again, I have two children, so this is the type of game that, uh, you know, they can learn a little bit of history, learn a little bit of art, a little bit different, about different things. So it's a cool game. You know, it's not something you're going to pull out every day, but it could be a game that you're going on a trip somewhere. You could pull it out, have it in the back of the car, or, you know, sitting around the campfire on a, on a you know a trip out somewhere uh going camping uh pull a quick game out and uh something simple for kids to play or for even for adults to play so again here's your green deck which we have right here so i have a green a yellow a blue and a well it's a, it looks like a magenta more than red but let's just say it's, it could be red so or pink all right so Let's take a look at some of these. So again, you got lots and lots of cars. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but so it's a different type of vegetable. Can you name that vegetable? All right, we know it's an eggplant, but if we, we know it's an eggplant, but let's see. Eggplant was named, 
Eggplant was named after botanist James Eggleton. False. It was named because white eggplants resemble eggs. Eggplants are native to which one of these places? Chile, India, or the Caribbean? What is the name for the Middle Eastern uh, dip made with roasted or grilled eggplant and often served with pita bread? Baba Ganoush. And there you go. That's how you play the game. All right. So you got animals, U.S. landmarks fruit, aquatic animals, so all kinds of good stuff in here. So this is your green deck. Oh, monarch butterfly. Let's see what it's got to say. You got beautiful pictures. You gotta love the pictures. So it's a butterfly, it's a monarch. All right, monarchs migrate further than many birds. Okay, I didn't know that. Why do predators generally avoid monarchs? They have no nutritional value. They sting. They taste bad. All right. So you got to pick one. Monarchs will lay eggs only on which kind of plant? A milkweed. I didn't know that. But there you go. So those are your three choice types of questions that you can have. Ooh. Going through some more. Fruits, vegetables, locations, animals. Kinds of fun stuff in your planets. All right, cool. Kind of, so it's like uh, obviously it's got a lot of trivia in it, but it's uh, you know it's challenging. It also helps you learn some facts about different things, so that's cool. I like that. So you're seeing a whole bunch of cards that are in the green deck. All right, so let's see if every deck is a little bit different. So there's your green deck. I had the plants, the, uh, the plants, animals vegetables, some locations. So that's your green deck. All right, let's put that down here so you can see everything here. It's your green deck, there you go. Make it even easier, put your dice in the middle here. There you go. So let's move on to blue. Again, get rid of those rubber bands, ladies and gentlemen. Damage your cards. All right, so let's see what the blue deck's all about. Oh, different kinds of cars. Oh. About that landmarks, world landmarks, okay, vehicles. What is this? Tools. Oh, okay. Clothing, games, islands. All right. Different artists. Wow. All right. Sculpture. Really getting ourselves a uh, toy. Wow, now it's really starting to get a little bit more complex here. All right, famous paintings. All right, so let's take a look at that one real quick. So we got the Mona Lisa, obviously. It was created by Leonardo da Vinci. So da Vinci, oh, so what's it says here? Who is the artist, right? Okay, not what the picture is of, but who is the artist? Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci developed plans to build a helicopter. True, however, he lacked the proper materials to build it. Besides being a painter, which of these professions did he practice? Architect, astronomer, or physician? Give either the Italian or the French name of the Mona Lisa. La Gionaconda, Italian, or La Gionconde, French. Very nice. Down here, of course, images the Mona Lisa. All right, so that's this one, an instrument. Okay, very, very cool. Top hat. Artist. Sculptures. Ah, everyone's favorite, the Rubik's Cube. So let's see what it says about the Rubik's Cube. Okay, it's a puzzle, right? We know it's the Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube was a U.S. fad before the Cabbage Patch dolls were. That's a true statement. Who invented the Rubik's Cube? A French civil servant, a German mathematician, a Hungarian architecture professor. In a 2006 movie, Will Smith played a character who impresses a future employer by solving a Rubik's Cube. Named the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. All right, didn't know any of that, but now I do. All right, ooh, what game is this? Chess, that's cool. So let's see what that says. Chess, the term checkmate has its origins in British slang. False, it comes from the Persian word shamat, which means the king is defeated, which these chess pieces can jump over other pieces, the bishop, the knight, or the queen night because it's still horse. What famous U.S. chess player won the match of the century against Russian Grandmaster Boris Baksky 
1970 of Bobby Fischer. Yeah. And so that's the blue deck. Very cool. All right. So each color is a different category. All right. Cool. Again, get rid of those rubber bands. So this time we have authors, actors, royalty, actresses, singers, ed characters, politicians, political figures, mythical creatures. Wow. All right, so we've got a lot of information here as well. So there you go, fictional character, Uncle Sam. First depicted on the fuselage of an airplane, false. During which war was the term Uncle Sam first used to refer to the US government? Revolutionary War, War of 1812, World War One. That I wouldn't have known. What words appear on the famous first World War recruitment poster, I want you for the US Army? That is correct. So there you go, again, famous people. Fictional characters, mythological characters. All right. So this seems to me like this is like a trivial pursuit kind of game, like only it's based on cards. So anyway, there's the rest of your deck for the red deck or the Genta deck, should I say? I've done an unboxing for trivial pursuit, but I wonder did they have the green, blue? I think each section had a. Uh, you had to get little, you know, pieces of the circle, but I don't remember what the colors were on them. Probably blue, green, as they know there. And here's orange. I know orange was in that because it had uh, orange was sports. So, all right. So we also have the company brand. So brands, body of water, more car models, companies, flags, okay, symbols, software, sports. Companies, code, country, right. type of angle, writing systems, number systems, company, country, barcodes. Oh, let's see what it says about barcode. UPC. First product ever scanned in a supermarket was chewing gum. It was really ju for juicy fruit. Which of these is true? Every product has a different code. The barcode system was invented by IBM. The first retail use was in 1952. What does UPC stand for? Universal Product Code. Oh, Playboy Bunny. Let's see what it says. Brand. Bunny, although often hidden, has appeared on every magazine cover except the first. True. Which of these Playboy Playmates starred in the movie 10? Bo Derek, Pam Anderson, or Ursula Address? Bo Derek did, obviously. Who appeared on the cover of and appeared nude in the first issue of Playboy? Marilyn Monroe. I didn't know that. There you go. Stock market, different things. Some codes. All right, very cool. So there you have it. That's everything that's included in this unboxing. Lots of cards, some dice, some instructions, and a fun time. And this game is known as I Know. Tribute for your eyes. Again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And of course, you could always subscribe to our channel. This way you become aware of any time we release any new unboxing or material on the channel. Of course, thank you again for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing.